Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So a couple days ago, I made a video on how to protect your squash from squash vine borers. All that applies. It definitely works. You want to get these up off the ground. You want to get them on stakes growing higher up so that way you can take a look at them underneath the plants like over here. And you can see if there is any eggs being put, you know, under it. Uh, it helps you keep an eye on it because if they get real bushy, you're not going to see it. Um, you're just not. And they will take over. Unfortunately, no matter what you do, especially if you live where I do, um, I mean, I'm picking off probably a hundred of those eggs a day. I, I, they're just, they swarm this area. It, it's really bad here. Uh, but up until now, uh, I haven't really had much of an issue. I've been catching them. None of them have bored their way in, but I finally had one. And if you look, this plant over here is starting to die back and that's because it got hit. I don't know if I can save that one, but I got another one that just got one boring in and I can see the signs of it. So I'm gonna bring you over and show you what you can do if the preventative doesn't work and what you can do to actually attack them because you can't spray for these because they're inside the plant. They bore their way through and into the vine and then spraying them does nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what we can do here and I'll bring you guys in just so you can see how to be able to determine whether or not a vine borer has gotten in to your squash. Right in here, you see this stuff right there? Right there, that is chew marks. That's a sign that they bored their way through. So what they'll do is they'll chew their way and into there. And I think they got through right about here. Okay, so that because that's where all that is. So that means I've got one boring its way up through this stem here. You could just rip this out and call it quits or you can combat this. Now this one isn't far enough gone. I think it just went in. I saw this and I went, uh oh, I gotta take care of this. Um, unfortunately, I did miss this one over here and you can see it's already chewed its way through. I missed it. I don't know how, but there's the hole right there. And then it's all through up here. I've been busy for like two days and that's it. That's all it took and it completely demolish this so this is gone this plant is gone so i gotta rip this one out of the ground unfortunately i will replace it with something else so we're going to combat this see if we can save these plants and there's a way all right so this is bt this kills caterpillars worms and it works really well it kills all that um, this is a natural product you can um, i mean i wouldn't go drinking it but this is considered an organic product it doesn't hurt people, it doesn't hurt anything other than these specific types of worms. And since vine borers come from a moth, um, they turn into little caterpillars and drill their way through. So this will work for them. The problem is spraying does nothing because they're not on the outside of it. They're on the inside of the plant. So we've got to get this inside the plant, which is why I've got that right there. So this is already pre-diluted to the right amount, okay? And all I'm going to do is we are going to suck up two cc's. And all we're going to do is right above where we see the entrance wound, we're just going to inject this a few spots along just to ensure and we'll go right at the entrance wound here just to make sure that it gets in there. Now, you could clean this out. Some people recommend with bleach or something. Um, I'm going straight to another plant I know is infected by the same thing and the rest of my plants have no disease. So and we can see right there, all that stuff right there. So I'm gonna put it in like so. We'll get up a little higher as well. Maybe a little lower than it. There we go. So, that one has BT now too. I'm gonna come back in 10 days and do the same exact thing. My neighbors see this, they're gonna wonder what the heck's going on. Now, I wanna mention, you might think, well, how does this not get it? Well, it has, because it's really impossible to not miss this. I probably have a whole bunch of eggs here from those vi vine borers. But the thing is, it'll get into this because this is sprawling along the ground. Um, these put roots out, as you can see right here. 
you can see it pretty easily. Let's see. Right, where is it? Right there. So right here you can see, see the roots? Coming down, and now that's rooting all the way down into the ground. And that is, at every single node, it's sending those down, or at least most of them. If the vine borer comes over here and destroys the vine, which it did, see that right there? There, completely destroyed that vine, okay? Uh, this still can get nutrients further up. So that's another way to combat these. If you have a really bad problem, just let them sprawl along the ground and let them root deeper, further down. So one other thing I'm doing, I am gonna spray this whole area with it. So this is in the spray bottle. And even though it's not gonna kill them after they bore, it's possible when they're hatching that it could wipe them out. Plus those moths, I believe, it'll kill the moth before they lay more. So I could be wrong on that. All right, guys, I'm going to come back in a couple days and we'll see if this is still alive. And if so, then we know that it took care of it. Otherwise, that will eat this alive from inside out. So if it's still alive and it's still kicking, then we know we took care of it. We are going to do one more treatment of this probably in another week or so. All right, so it is about three days since I did the injection. And most of these plants are doing great except for the one that pretty much was dying i mean it, it's done so i'm gonna pull that up probably today every other one though is looking great no issues with these at all looking healthy so this is all dried up and there's no new stuff coming out even this one this one had probably the most amount of problems this one's doing really good still growing you can see all that stuff in there the yellowish stuff it's it's dried out and there's no new fresh looks like right here we've got a problem with this one so i gotta i gotta do that with this or i'm gonna lose this plant and unfortunately it's right there at the base yeah we've got another another one right there so we'll go ahead and take care of that today i'll inject that one i don't think i had done that one before i mean it's an ongoing problem here we got a lot of problems with that pest it's one of the worst it's really difficult to kind of keep these healthy. So it's pretty much inevitable, at least here. And I'm sure it's like that wherever you're at, especially if you're in the South. Um, it's inevitable to get one to, to miss an egg and get one to bore its way in. If that happens and you notice the, the damage starting, um, get on it real quick. And hopefully you guys can save your plants before they die back and continue with the harvest now of course this isn't foolproof probably about once a month once every month and a half start new seeds for these types of plants especially the summer squash uh, because you know you do some harvests and then you can then replenish your crops pull them out for instance once i get some seedlings growing i'll replace this well thanks for watching everyone if you guys like this kind of content please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.